I've been asked by several folks who've taken the advanced PHP class how to activate the variants or additional variants in the PHP variant sheet. Um, so I'll show you how to do that really quickly because it's easier to show you than it is to tell you on the phone. So the first thing, this is the variance. It's just a copy of the variance file from the example folder. And we'll go ahead and just add one more column to this. So right now, if you look at this, at this file, essentially columns one through six, and you can see column seven doesn't work. You can scroll down and see it's empty as stuff, right? So um, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and turn that on so it works. So the first thing you do is you go to the top left of the sheet, and you hit these this number two here, which what it does is it expands all the all the uh, columns across the sheet. And you hit this three, which what it does is it expands every single row all the way down the sheet. So there's now no longer any hidden or concealed rows or columns. Then of course you have to unprotect the sheet so you can make changes. And then the key is to go to this cell here, which is cell D9. Um, I talked about that briefly in class. Let me see. I think that. Um, let me talk about this quickly. It, uh, it's L D9. Uh, yep, so no, it's not. It's this one here, cell D9. So that's the key cell. That's what they probably should have put in the manual is to select cell D9 and then go down to the right for everything you want to select. We'll do that now. So going back to Excel, you have to pause. You have to forgive me, the window is quite small, but if you select D9, which is this cell, and then go down to the right. And what you want to do is you want to go down all the way across all this user determined stuff. Keep going down till the end of the yellow bit, right? So that's row 233. And then go to the right until you get all seven, which in this case I know it's one past its column L. So you've got cell D9 down through cell L 233 selected. And do that, and then go to data, uh, what if analysis data table. It'll pop a little window. It looks like this. And then you have to click this and you just click this little thingy and you click this cell which is D9 and click this again. You leave the column and put cell blank and hit OK. And that's pretty much it. It should now work. So now we, you can see it's now calculating column 7. You can put a label up here and put, you know, um, test. Now let's do lucky 7. And you put numbers down below, and you can go over here and select the active one is now lucky seven. And it'll pull over those numbers. And if you put numbers in here, for example, or down below, it'll start calculating everything for you. So now it'll work for seven rows. And you can do that for any number of columns you will need to add.